Saludos a mi gente latino. Guys, I'm so excited right now. Woo! Why? 2018 New Year's is here. The time is now to be in the best shape of your life possible. Now listen, I'm here to help. For that reason, I put together an upper body shred workout that's gonna help you burn fat and build lean muscle, okay? All we need today to use is a dumbbell. So this circuit is gonna consist of five exercises that we're gonna perform with little rest. And at the end of the fifth exercise, we're gonna rest for one minute. Then we're going right back in, high intensity. And then we're gonna rest one minute. And we're gonna repeat for four rounds, okay? It's gonna help us get in shape quick, and we can do this all in under 20 minutes. So let's get to it, and we're gonna go over the exercises step by step, and we're gonna get fit together. Let's go! Bell that I'm gonna use, make sure to use a dumbbell that you can move comfortably for 10 to 12 reps, okay? But it still challenges you. So let's go through each exercise one by one, and then we'll do a, a few fast rounds together, all right? So the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do a plank row. So we're gonna come on down, back straight, core tight, keep our butt locked tight, and we're gonna pull right up to our arm. Driving straight up, 10, then we're gonna switch. This one's gonna engage your core and your whole body. Also working our upper back. 10 total, each arm. Nice. Then we're gonna go right into a single knee, shoulder press. Butt tight, core engaged. Touch your shoulder, press it straight up. 10 reps. Then we're gonna switch right into the other side. Making sure to maintain good posture. Keeping our belly button engaged. Driving straight up to that lockout. Third exercise, we're gonna stay right in that knee position, right into a hammer curl. Maintain a good posture, keep your glutes engaged. Driving straight up, we're gonna go right to the opposite knee. There we go. Inhale, exhale. Seven, I got three more right here. Eight, nine, 10, nice. Three strength training exercises. Now we're gonna go to a time under tension exercise. We're going into a close grip static hold. 30 seconds. 30 second hold, here we go. Putting all that blood flow into the upper body and forcing that core to fire. Gonna really increase the blood flow into our arms, chest, and shoulders. While also really working that core. Nice. So we did our four strength training exercises. Now we're gonna do one exercise to get our heart rate skyrocketed. Alternating dumbbell snatch. And I'm bringing the power from my hips and I'm gonna lock my arm out at the top. The power is coming from your lower body. Here we go. 30 seconds. All lower body, hip extension, drive it straight up. Drive straight up. Keep that bell, that dumbbell nice and close to your body. And it's like a chain reaction. The power coming from the floor. One more each side. We're only going 30 seconds total. Ah, break. One minute break. That's the last exercise. Really got my heart rate all the way up. Skyrocket that heart rate to make sure that we're maintaining that fat burning zone. Now this one minute break is extremely important because we wanna make sure that we're working the anaerobic or the glycolytic energy system, okay? That's the energy system in our body that's gonna help us build lean muscle, okay? So take that break, let your heart rate come back down, and then put all your intensity into that round, all right? This next round, we're gonna go full speed. And we're gonna work along together. How much time I got left? Couple more breaths. 10 seconds, I'm gonna hop right back into it. I'm starting with the plank row. All right guys, let's get to it, here we go. 10 reps, ready? And once it starts to burn, you know you're in a good place. Five, come on, six, seven, eight, let's work. Nine, 10, yeah. Now that body's warmed up. 
no rest, right into kneeling shoulder push. 10 reps. Inhale, exhale. Four, five. That's what it's all about right here. Nine, ten. Yes. Then we're going to work on them biceps. Staying in that kneeling position. Ten reps. Two, three, nine. Last one right here. Ten. Nice. Switch it to the left side. Now, real quick, because I hit these ten. The reason why we're in this kneeling position is this is forcing our body to stabilize making us use more core and activate that glute. So we have to keep our posture nice and straight, okay? All these exercises do work the core as well. Last two. Ah. One more. Nice. Now we're gonna feel the burn right into that static push up. This is the form of time under tension where we're putting so much stress into the muscles and we're filling up those muscles with blood. Forcing them to expand, building up that lactate, giving them no reason not to grow. Make sure to keep your butt engaged and your glutes engaged so you're stiff as a board. Burn feels good now. Five seconds. As you can see, round two, I'm already sweating. Heart rate's up, and my whole body's in here. Now we're gonna get that heart rate all the way up to 90 plus per set. Let's go. Straight up. Let's go. Drive it straight up. Bring that elbow up. Power's coming from the wall. And we never, and I repeat, never compromise our good posture. 30 seconds, now it's a fat burn mode. But at the same time, I'm maintaining a good pump in my muscles. We're gonna let that heart rate come down for a minute and go right back into that third round. Now guys, it's gonna be very important as you get fatigued in these circuits towards the end of your set, keep your mindset positive, all right? One little scientific thing just to keep in consideration, the muscles don't fire unless the neurons fire, all right? There's a neuromuscular connection. So focus your mind on what you're doing and really try to activate your muscles and your mind together, focusing on the body parts that you're using, all right? They don't fire unless your brain's working properly. All right, third round coming up. We're gonna get right into it. I'm ready to go. It's only been 30 seconds. It's all right. Lightweight, go up a little bit. We're gonna push it this round. Right back into the plank roll. Let's get it. Three, two, one, come on. One. Now we knock it out in ten. Three, come on. Four, five. It's like it gets lighter towards the end. Ten. Hey, come on. Nine, ten. Yes. So now your nervous system's used to the exercise. It's usually easier. Two or three sets in. Four, come on. Five, six. Seven. Did someone change my weight? Nine. Ten. Nice. It's like the weights get lighter. It's like the weights get lighter. You gotta talk yourself up. Ten. Five. Five. Seven. Seven. Let's go. Come on. Eight. Nine. Right here. Ten. Nice. All five of the exercises, the core doesn't get to rest at all. It's fully engaged. Ooh, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, ten. Nice. Full density in that bicep along with your forearms. Ah, let's get it. One, two, three, four. Come on. Five. Push through this one right here. Six. Let's go. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. 
No rest, right into the static push-up hold. Time under tension, let's go. Keep your mind focused on positive outcomes and the goals that you're shooting for. That's what it's all about. There's nothing like a little struggle to get you better and push you a little bit harder. Ah! We want that fatigue to set in because that's when we know we're growing and we're working harder and we're gonna be better. We're forcing ourselves to be better. I go three more minutes. I go three more minutes, it's nothing. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Right into the dynamic movement. This snatch is explosive. You could do just this exercise and burn fat, I guarantee it. When done with consistency, 30 seconds, five. We switching, bam. Power's coming from the lower body. I'm driving through my heels in the center of my feet. Locking out my hips. Make sure my glutes engage as I lock out. Yes. Embrace this fatigue, guys. Let's go. One more each side. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Third round is when you really feel your heart rate up and that pump come to life. Take a second to breathe. And bring that heart rate down as fast as you can. What's awesome about these circuits is your heart rate skyrockets and then we bring it right back down. Skyrockets and bring it right back down. It forces your heart to work harder. So we're building up cardiovascular strength as well as we work on strengthening our muscles. <sighs> 20 seconds, last round coming up. Remember, it doesn't matter where you're starting at, guys. If any of these movements are difficult, we can modify them a little bit. Use lighter weights, even on the plank rows, if you need to do just the plank, okay, that's fine for a certain amount of time, as well as push-ups. If you're having trouble with push-ups, we can modify that to a knee position. But all of the, the form and the basic technique stays the same. Core's engaged, glutes are engaged, focusing on our posture, and we're always breathing with rhythm throughout the reps. Too much talking, let's get this last rep done. Here we go. Last set, fourth round, and this is where we really take our body to the next level. Let's get it. Ten. Five. Eight. Come on. Three. Four. Let's go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Nice. Easy money. Easy money. Four. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's what I'm talking about. Right into a press. Maintaining good posture. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! Now the heart rate's up. The great part is, it's hard for you to catch your breath as you perform these exercises. Good stress on your body. Three. Come on. Four. Five, six, last set. We finishing strong. Eight, nine, ten. That's what it's all about. Working through that fatigue, pushing yourself. Let's get it. One, eight. These are the growth reps right here. Nine. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, ten. That's what I'm talking about. One more side. Come on. Fight through the fatigue. Exercise is like a mental therapy as well, guys. You get to focus on nothing but the exercise at that time. Three more. Hey. Nine. Ten. Right into a static push-up hold. Let's go. So through your fourth round, you're gonna be two straight minutes of static tension in this position. So just imagine what that does to your muscle fibers. As you put that much stress in tension focused on your upper body and your core, don't forget 
All these exercises are working our core. Yes. 10 seconds. Don't be afraid to fail. Because through failure, we get better. I'm going to failure. All right? I'm going till failure. Ah. Ah. Well, folks, fill it up. Ah. That's what it's all about. Then we're gonna finish these strong right here. Last set of single arm snatching. Two breaths. All right, let's rock. Driving straight up, and we're rolling. Never compromise form for fatigue. When you go at your own pace, you should not break form. Let's walk. Come on, let's work. No challenge too big, my friends. Let's get it. No challenge too big. Now is the new year, and now is the time to create the new you. Let's get it. Ah, two more each arm. Motion this. Ah. Ah. One more. Ah. This is how you should feel after a workout. Guys, that was less than 20 minutes. We got a great upper body pump. Heart rate skyrocketed past 85%. So we know we're burning fat. And we got a great sweat. Woo! That's what it's all about. Fat burn, upper body shred workout. Do this guys with consistency and you'll see the results. If you got any questions, please let me know. This is Surge Fit, and let's get better this 2018.